With many advances in the transport sector, Opibus, a Swedish Kenyan firm, is creating and assembling powered electric vehicles and motorcycle units locally tailored for the African continent, leading to the leading to the transition of sustainable transport. Opibus, the first company in Kenya to deliver locally produced electric motorcycles and vehicles, is today in the race to distinguish itself as a market leader in the development of electric vehicles in Africa. Taking the road to immobility as a way to decarbonize transport. Since 2017, Opibus has been in the business of future-proofing existing gasoline and diesel vehicles by converting them to electric. When the company was founded in 2017, we started working on conversion of these uh, safari utility vehicles, uh, mostly land cruisers and land rovers that are used by tourists in the park. Um, but so far we have grown. Now we have electric motorbikes. We did um, conversion of those, but now we're in the process of making and fully assembling one here in our workshop. And then also we diversified to having solar and now battery solutions. Globally, there's a shift towards green energy. The automotive industry has been able to provide about 100,000 direct and indirect jobs to Kenyans by creating about 30,000 vehicles in one shift and providing 30 billion per annum through taxation. Despite this, the biggest challenge the sector faces is the shift from internal combustion engines, which is the infrastructure installed by the local industry. Opibus company says it is on the move to solve the challenge of transport emissions. Electric vehicles do not uh, use uh, gas or diesel, which is what produces the, uh, those emissions, the greenhouse gases. Um, but for the electric vehicles, you don't, it's zero emission, so there are no gases at all, and therefore we have a very minimal carbon footprint, which means we don't really um, contribute a lot to the greenhouse gases. Statistics show that Boda Boda is the largest growing sector supporting about 5.2 million Kenyans with over 1.5 million registered Boda Boda riders. Each year, about 200,000 Boda Boda stop working because of age, breakdown and life cycle risk. The motorcycles have also been blamed for air pollution and noise pollution which is hazardous to the environment. Opibus is now shifting to electric bikes in Kenya that will reduce cost, air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Lucy Muyala, a professional mechatronic engineer at Opibus, takes us through the e-bike conversion process that involves the removal of the fuel tank, leaving space for a battery that powers the electric motorcycle. For the electric motorbikes, we start by assembling the frame and all the mechanical parts. And then once that is done, we assemble the wheels and then we mount the controller and then I'll do the wiring, um, lights, ETC. And then after that, we now test the controller uh, settings, see whether they are working well, whether the bike you know, brakes as it should, accelerates as it should. Then we do some tests. Um, these are range tests, um, torque, and things like that. And then once um, the quality control process is validated and the bike has passed all the tests, then now it's ready for, for shipment to clients. The e-bike has a battery lifespan of a thousand life cycles that can go to a maximum of 100 km per hour on a single charge and on harsh terrains 70 km per hour. It is also equipped with a portable charger that serves a battery for a period of two hours. We offer swapping swappable batteries and we offer a charger, a portable charger. So that means you get to charge your battery from wherever as long as there's a socket outlet. Now our batteries are two kilowatt hour. Um, so that's like two units in, in layman's terms. So the cost of charging, you know, is just equivalent to two tokens, which is almost 50 shillings. And that's, that's sufficient to run you in a day because uh, a regular Boda Boda rider requires about 80 kilometers in a day. Opibus also has a swapping station for the tailored batteries, creating efficiency for the riders. Buyers have however complained of high cost of purchase of electric batteries and insufficient charging infrastructure. Opibus plans to partner with KPLC to introduce charging stations that will be utilized in public points as well as more technological advances with the e-bikes charging system. We're also working at making this system very automated, very smart and intelligent where you'll be able to, to, to locate a charging station while driving. If your battery is say at 40%, 
So you'll be able to, you'll be notified, maybe you'll buy an app or something. So you'll be notified that your battery is at 40% and your nearest station is at such and such a place. So it's easy for you to be able to know whether to reduce speed so that you can get to the said charging station. One unique thing about Opibus is that besides offering an insurance of two years, 35% of its vehicles and bikes components are designed and built locally and hence supporting local entrepreneurs. The output can also be tailored for local market speed. We deal with both international and domestic um, products. Uh, so we import the, those equipment such as the electric motor, which I think um, we're still, our country is still getting to the process of um, manufacturing such complex, but it's not yet there. So such equipment we procure from uh, international suppliers, but also locally we source materials to make our our boxes to make our frames and all that from local manufacturers. And what is the market reception like for e-bikes and vehicles? Market reception for EVs has been really good. Um, so a lot of people are open to that since they see that the world is moving towards that. Um, so recently there was a memo that went out from the CS for transport and he for the bus ra rapid transport uh, tendering. Um, so he, they were asking to have electric vehicles given priority when they're tendering that. So that shows that we are very ready to adopt uh, electric vehicles as a transport um, solution in the public sector. Yeah. Opibus plans to expand its business, including delivering its first electric vehicle to the Kenyan market by the first quarter of 2021. The company has received support from investors and now promises Kenyans to brace for more renewable solutions in the transport sector with hope of support from the government of Kenya. From the government, we are looking to have support from them. So in terms of um, them exempting us from paying some uh, sort of um, import duties in terms of when you're importing, uh, when you're buying motors and anything EV related. Um, also incentives in terms of lowering the price for charging um, tariffs, what we'll be charging now to the customers once they charge and also providing more space where we can set up charging infrastructure and also policies that will make it easier for any EV operator. Uh, Kenyans should expect uh, fast a motorbike that is made 100% here locally from local engineers and using local materials um, and it will be affordable for the normal uh, operator. Also expect buses as well that will be used for public transport that are made here in Kenya. E-mobility is being embraced globally and here in Kenya, Opibus is championing for robust use of e-vehicles and e-motorcycles on Kenyan roads. The big question is, is Kenya ready for this new technology? For Metropole TV, I'm Masi Achieng.